What's up my Giga Chats? Coming at you with an emergency video. Today we got news about the PS5 Pro, we got GTA 6 leaks, and we got a lot of drama at our hands, guys. Like this video, please like this video if you love to hear all the news in one video. Maybe we're gonna start this series back like the good old days, but the first story, guys, like hand on top of this bottle of water, man. A lot of you guys would be looking at this, okay? The story is wilder than Johnny Sin's movies because apparently, don't let the uh, don't let your kids see this uh, story, okay? So apparently, we're hearing that DM in misses, and don't worry, we're gonna get down to GTS like and PS5 Pro leaks in a second, but stands for MVP, right? Now, you see, uh, you see, like a uh, a dude right now okay so this is apparently a brother that apparently switched sides like he was on he was in a call of duty lobby oh, yay shit. so brother became a sister changed his gender and he was uh, competing against the real uh, natural born females right in a mvp in a series of mvp and guess what this dude destroyed all of them <laughs> this dude destroyed all of the females right there D destroyed all of them each one of them and won the mvp <laughs> Brother out here killing it though, you know, so brother changes gender and now killing it and the craziest and the saddest the mo or the hilarious part here is that he did not beat them with like one KD. You wanna hear the stats? You wanna see the stats? Check this. Brother defeated them with 8.96 KD right there. In a search and destroy with a 4.58 KD ratio. CTL ended up getting a 2.38 KD ratio. I mean, duh! So this is not normal, dog. Had it been he was competing with like real dudes, with his brothers, right? With real guys? Man wouldn't even have a single 1 KD though. He wouldn't even be having like a 1 KD ratio. This drama is currently blowing up on Twitter. Get this bigot out of the league. So everybody's calling each other bigot, bigot, you, you bigot, this bigot, that bigot. Everybody's playing that phobic, phobic game because our brother came out and says that. So we have grown men playing in a female Call of Duty League. Bro, spit it. No lights detected. Now nah, he's based. Guys, I, I don't know uh, how many likes we're gonna get, but all I'm saying is that let's go for two likes on the video for the two genders, okay? Uh, let me actually get into that. But also, also in the news, guys, this story, I mean, I swear to God, bro, gaming industry is falling apart in <laughs> in front of our eyes. What the hell is going on? So you might have, you're gonna hear a lot about the story in the coming hours and in the coming days because it's blowing up melanie mac actually uh tweeted about it ended up getting 9.7k likes kind of brother get two likes now this story is to do with deadlight oh look deadlight release an accurate trans character and troons are mad uh, she said i'm not sure what troons mean but uh the the situation here is that this is a character in dead by daylight okay and this was voice acted by a real trans person oh, and the trans person claims that as Zoe, right? The trans guy or girl, I'm not sure, switch, they switched side. I'm not sure if they were a brother before or a sister, now they changed gender. I mean, they're doing them, strong, independent, all right, whatever, it's fine, right? So uh, they are doing themselves, they are changed their gender and voice acted a character in Dead by Daylight. The voice actor claims that apparently they did not tell her, him or her that uh, what the killer would look like in the game and it ended up looking like Bruh. this later on but they claimed that they didn't know and they're now demanding reparations and apology <laughs> Bruh. They're demanding apologies and they put up this big ass statement it says that I voiced the character the unknown in Dead by Daylight at the time of voicing It was a great experience. I was told at the time I was voicing the character that there was no model and the creature was supposed to be amorphous They had no model design before I recorded my lines. So it's my assumption that the design team took my medical history and my ability to use multiple voices as an opportunity to create a character model that encapsulate my medical history as trans and capitalize on catering what what are you talking about uh and they capitalize on catering to the transphobic community i was straight into voicing a stereotype since yesterday i have been virally harassed for being trans by thousands of people since yesterday. Dog, had it been, not cut the cap. Had it been, you never spoke about it. Nobody even would find out that, you know, this character was voice acted by a trans guy or gal, right? What are we talking about? Dead by Daylight is one of the wokest 
studio on planet Earth. They they were waving all kinds of flags when the Nick Merckx and Activision situation went down. Those of you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about, right? So when that happened, I mean, this these seconds were waving all kinds of flags, gender fluids, this and that. There was a whole lot of crap, right? Dead by Daylight, they're the wokest, one of the wokest uh, studio on the planet, and the replies are just saucy right now. Lead designer right now. So guys, says that lead designer was absolutely based for <laughs> making the character look like this. And, and yeah, seconds are going in ganging right now. Everybody's like going in left and right. But also, I am the news. Now this story is to do with the next Battlefield game. Now a couple of days ago we did hear the fact that EA has uh, fired a lot of their devs, right? Activision did that, Xbox did that, Sony did that, Microsoft, Sony, uh, PlayStation. They have been firing. The entire video game industry has been firing devs left and right. And Marcus Leto, he is uh, the, the co-creator of Halo and he was... Uh, I, uh, oh, shit. Wait, what? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He did remove Battlefield there. Oh my god, I was gonna say Battlefield, but he did remove Battlefield from his profile. Okay, I'm finding about this in real time, guys. So, he actually worked on Battlefield in the past, and for the longest amount of time, Seconds were, like, putting their trust in this uh, dude that he's gonna revive Battlefield game, myself included, and Seconds really thought that this game is gonna be, be a banger. Uh, and it's currently in development, don't get me wrong, but today, he came out, says that not been saying much here, since I don't have anything positive to say about EA. My recent departure and how so many, including my team, are suffering due to the industry sweeping layoffs. I mean, damn! And, and this kind of like goes to show us, right, that he did not leave EA on his own. Looks like that he was shot down too, metaphorically speaking. Looks like that he was also told to get the F out and he uh, apparently uh, did not quit. Uh, he was told, uh, he was allegedly fired, right? But I think it's to do with the NDA, so he's not really telling us what's happening. Maybe in the coming days, in the coming weeks, he's gonna be allowed to tell us. But also in the news, the battle pass is now gonna be synced across Modern Warfare 3. Warzone and Warzone Mobile. So big shocker guys, uh, definitely clap up for these seconds. <laughs> Finally, it's gonna be sync, right? And they, not long ago, they did reveal the upcoming Warzone Mobile. And to be honest though, the gra graphically speaking, it, it kind of busting though. You know, Warzone Mobile kind of busting and it does look kind of odd right now. But also guys, this story, if you love flying, after this story, you might not love flying. Okay, we're gonna get down to the PS5 Pro news right after this one, guys. Check this out. A United Airlines Boeing 737 has landed in Oregon after losing a panel mid-air. Yeah, now this story is massive because you might have heard this story and it was all over the, the social media. This was reported. This is a real life story, right? This is why I'm covering it, guys. Because apparently a whistleblower came out. I believe the guy was working at Boeing, right? He was the higher up at Boeing. He came out and said, and he just revealed and leaked all the secrets by saying that Boeing is not safe to fly on. And he also did say that if I die in the coming days, I did not delete myself and you want to know what happened we figured out that he passed away allegedly killed oh, shit. Oh, shit. and today apparently a flight had to land and do an emergency landing because this actually happened so this story is definitely crazy guys definitely do not board the united airlines boeing okay don't do it it's not safe right now okay but also and that is apparently a squid game actor or oh, young Soo. Yo! has been found guilty of unwanted easter eggs misconduct Bruh. and he will serve an eight month suspended prison sentence he will also serve two years of probation along with 40 hours of unwanting easter egg violence uh, education though so yeah man like brother definitely and skizzle came out says that he might be a method actor uh, and might have taken it seriously for his next role but for god it's real life it'd be like that i mean brothers was definitely getting into the character way too much he thought that he was acting in real life uh, maybe he had dementia i'm not sure right uh, w actor l actor let me know i mean uh, this was not a w move though guys come on let's be real and also uh, real quick right before we dive into the ps5 pro news guys i have a second channel this is where we upload every single day we upload the ufos we upload the conspiracies every single day so i better see you subscribing there if you love that mystery ghost paranormal ufo content i would love to have you there but also in the news guys ps5 pro 
Specs just uh, just got leaked out there, and apparently we're hearing that it's gonna be coming out in holiday 2024. And Tom Henderson says that the leaks are real. Apparently the leaks are real, and the Sony ponies are going crazy, the Xbox going crazy, everybody's attacking each other because we are hearing that this Sega is gonna be 33 teraflops. I mean. Duh! 33 teraflops, 33 teraflops, and uh, for the longest amount of time, dog, we have been getting games running at only 30 FPS. I mean, we got the Lara Croft gameplay, guys, uh, definitely stay focused. I mean, I know that Bunda kind of juicy there, but uh, definitely stay focused, okay? But but the situation is kind of wild because we're hearing that it's going to be 45% faster than PlayStation 5. We also heard that from Tom Henderson and Moore's Lies that these are the sources behind and very credible sources because they have leaked uh, other stuff in the past that have came true. For example, the recent leak Tom Henderson came out with was that uh, PlayStation handheld uh, PS5 digital as well and both of these leaks uh, both of these leaks ended up coming true right so these seconds I mean know what they're talking about and we're hearing that it's gonna be two to three times more powerful uh, in terms of ray tracing 40 45% uh, faster than the ps5 might be the only device that can run GTA 6 in 60 FPS though yay so it might not be uh, 60 FPS on the normal ps5 and the X Xbox uh, Xbox Series X it might only be uh, this is something that we have been speculating for a while and uh, th this part I, I have to agree like I have not seen Tom actually mention that so this is this is this, this, this is probably speculation okay uh, this uh, this is obviously a Sony pony account so he might be gaslighting the Xbox so I, I definitely wanna love the guy okay let me show you some kisses right now, but Bruh. but definitely might be gaslighting, guys. So definitely don't let your dogs out. But it's gonna feature a custom machine learning system for enhanced performance. It will also include an AI accelerator, which can handle a lot of calculations quickly, and it has a processing power of 33. 33. I mean, damn. Okay, I had to look down for the sound effect there. <laughs> for that, for that, guys. 33.5 teraflops. I mean, no. Would you get it? Seriously though, would you guys get it? And recently we had a lot of Wokies trying to cancel GTA 6. Click on this video on the screen. This is an absolute insane story. You're gonna see that Rockstar Games has indeed watered down and removed a lot of stuff. On the left, this video is about the UFO video that I just uploaded on my second channel. Uh, check these videos out and guys, I will see you right there.